Hello everybody and welcome to another general vlog video. Boy, ain't I a fashion statement today. Whew. I don't know. I might get halfway through this video and the fashion police show up and arrest me. Alright, so anyway, sorry about the sun shining through the wall. We're back again. Uh, the last video you guys seen, we cut all this out. I had been dreading it and dreading it. It was really simple to do. Um, Remember we cut all that out down there for a door to go in. It's hard to follow yourself on a camera. There we go. But anyway, so remember I told you that you're not going to like the header that I'm going to put up here. Because it doesn't have to be much. It, it's a 5-10 pound door. Uh, there is the original wall header up there at the top. Which is about, oh, that far up there. So I'm just going to kind of splice this one in. I think I'm going to run two boards this way and then I'll fill in the side parts but it will be good enough I promise you that um, so where we left off the last time is I needed to go get some screws and I went and got screws and a little bag full of stuff and spent 80 bucks and I didn't get much um, you gotta love your little lo local Ace Hardware stores that just absolutely rape you on prices. I did get some electrical stuff here. Um, go ahead and I just got some junction boxes. Uh, let me go ahead and get those out of here. Oh, I did get some nail plates um, for when. I'll explain to you what a nail plate is later on down the line. Like if you look up here, you see that I drilled a hole. I always stay right in about in the center. Uh, drilled a hole for electrical to go through. Now, to keep me, even though my screws aren't long enough to reach it, you don't want to take a chance. So you'll hammer these in there and there, and that'll keep you from ever dri driving a screw through it. Um, so I picked up some of them and another junction box. Uh, let's see, what else did we get? Oh, I got some fittings and some uh, wire nuts and stuff. Uh, I probably have all this. I just don't know where things at yet. I'm still not completely unpacked from the move, even though it's been what over a year. Um, and it's mostly my garage stuff, the house stuff and everything's all taken care of for right now. But all my garage stuff is still in totes and boxes. And but anyways, yeah, look at that. A little box of screws, three inch screws. $11.19. If I went to Lowe's, that was probably $7. But then I would spend another $10 in gas. So that is what it is. Anyways, this isn't a video about griping and complaining. So the first thing that I got to do, well, for one, I got to go get tools and everything because I let Ricky, my oldest son, take my drill to the woods to move a deer stand. Uh, I've got to go find my other drill and my other bit. I think the first thing I'm going to do is start with putting my partial header from here to here. And then we've got to cut our uprights that go here and here for the door frame. Got to make sure that those are perfect as far as size goes. I allow myself a quarter of an inch. I can shim on one side or the other, the door frame. But, uh... I got some wires down here that are not going to be in my way. They're just temporary. Just show you what I'm talking about. These wires down here, if you watched in the last video, I just pulled that box out. I just kind of tucked that box in there because I do still use that. My bed is hooked up to it, which my bed is one of them sleep number beds. And then I think I've got an extension cord for my phone charger plugged into it. That can all change eventually, <clears throat> but right now I can just go behind those. We do want to, before we get this one in over, I guess it's over here, before we get this one in, we want to take that 2x4 out that that plug box is on, because that plug box is going to stay there. That is where my night light will go, um, just to kind of keep it illuminated in here at all times. So when I do walk into this room, I'm not in the dark, so to speak. So that one will stay there. Um, 
but it's going to be too close to I'm going to build a pony wall. Well, let's get you up here where you can see what I'm doing. I'm either going to build a, a pony wall or a full size wall, but it's only going to be a three inch thick wall. Well, actually two and a half inch thick wall. Um, it'll go there. So, and in that wall will be light switches. There'll be two different lights in here and that'll be light switches for that wall. That'll go in that thin wall, which I'll have to make sure I get to thin boxes for light switches. Um, those will go in this wall that, that's not even there yet. So we want to stub out for that, which we're not doing electrical. I don't think we're doing electrical in this video, but I got to remember that and keep that in mind because I don't want to have to go through the board that I'm putting in there. So I got to make sure that everything stays that side. Anyways, I'm rambling on already. We ain't even started working yet. I got to take that out and put a thinner piece of wood in there to make sure it indexes enough away from the wall that if I ever decide I want to put a plug cover on it, I can without having to cut the plug cover down. That's what all that boils down to. So let me go get some tools. Well, only thing I could do is go find another drill and a bit for that. And I'll go ahead and cut. Well, you know something else? I've got to go out on the truck and measure this wood. Uh, I think my tape measure is still in the house. Um, remember when we were doing the little cavity thing over here and not the last video but the video before that um everybody thinks i'm sinking a tv in there no i'm not sinking a tv in there but if you remember the wood that i was using was oversized compared to the wood that is normal you know two by fours i bought normal two by fours they're just oversized about uh anywhere from an eighth uh one of them was clear up to a quarter inch bigger so I got to figure that out because I need precise measurements because this board is a regular two by four. This board is a regular two by four and I got to go up in between of them. So I'm going to do some measuring, grab some tools and everything, and I'll be right back. It'll take me five minutes. It'll be 0.5 of a second to you guys. All right. So I got my tools and everything and I went ahead and cut my two upright boards. That will eventually be the outside of the frame for my door. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and tap that into location. I don't think it. we are working over here, by the way, not over there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to sweep this out a little bit down here with this. So I can get my board in there. Um, I did, however, go ahead and replace, I still don't have you guys low enough, fire the cameraman, I did go ahead and replace the board that, uh, my receptacle box was on because I am going to have, by the time I'm done, let's see, let's do some math here. If I use a two, two and a half, so it's going to be three and a half inches from there to there. Uh, I don't know. We may have to figure out something with that plug. Because <clears throat> the time I add my wall or my door frame in, which is roughly three quarters of an inch, that's going to make that just really close to that plug. And I don't like that. There's no sense I can't really go right onto the two by four. Um, I don't know why I didn't do that from the beginning. Hmm. I think that's what I need to do. Okay, so let's start on this other side because I think I need to knock that board back out and redo that. So let's start over here. We'll get this up in there the way that it goes. 
Oh, that feels like it's going to be, that might be just a, a little bit too long. Yeah, I'm not comfortable with that. I don't want to start, um, I don't want to start making things out of square or out of shape. All right, there. I cut about a blade's width off of it. Seems to feel a little bit better. We don't have it in there yet. But uh, I'll take this little handy-dandy tool that I made. Uh, I think I made it on the last video. And I'll just kind of turn this thing here sideways. In there. there we go. Just like that. And then we'll... Uh, hammer it kind of into place we don't know exactly where it goes yet but okay now I can see that the port's got a little bit of a warp to it I don't think it's going to affect us but that really sucks I mean the quality of, of wood and I'm not going to get on that rant again but the Quality of wood from Lowe's is anything but good. Um, looks like I probably need to come over. Not much, but I'm, I'm really kind of not having anything to do there right now because I need to get down there and screw that in <clears throat> and get the bottom stable before I start worrying about up there. So, let's get you guys down here on the bottom. I'm probably gonna be right in your way, but I don't have any choice. And I can see I did not cut that perfectly straight when I cut that bottom two boards out. But, I think it'll work. Let's see here in just a minute whether it will work or not. Oh, that seemed to be too far. Um, that does seem to stick out a little bit. I'm trying to deal with the building that was done before and the building is trying to be done now. Kind of, you know, match old with new. All right, I'm gonna plug this back in. And I pulled that out just to uh, allow me a little bit more room. I'm gonna shove this back in there. Like such. All right. So now that doesn't interrupt my bedroom plugs so we got this done pretty good now we can kind of level it up and see where we're going let's see up there I just want inch and five eight screws which are down here below you guys so let's get it perfect square level Okay, I think it needs to come. And once again, fire the camera guy. Let's come up here. Do I want to go over a little bit? Um, looks like it needs over just a skosh more. I'll put my glasses on for this so I can get it perfect. You know, regular framing, you're okay with, but when you're going for a door, you want absolutely perfection, or I do. And I don't believe she'll get any more perfect than that right there. So now, we'll go ahead and just to place two screws in this, just to kind of hold it.
Okay, that will hold it to where it needs to be. Now, we can either do one of two things. We can go up and make that the rest of a header board, which is going to be hard. I can attach it to this side, I do believe. I gave Ricky my wrong drill. I gave him my small drill. So everything's going to be a little harder to do. It's going to be hard to get my big drill in that small of an area. But I can manage. But I think we finished our header here. And what I did is I just stacked two up there. Yes, I know. I could have... Let me get a couple boards here. What I could have done was brought it down like this. Two boards like this with a half inch piece of OSB in between of it and slid it up there like that. But like I said, this is a 10 pound door at the most. <clears throat> it's got its own frame. So two boards up there like this was just fine. So next, like I said, I'll put my two boards up here and then I'll probably put one board in here. Uh, you guys can't see, see. Boy, I tell you what, that, that cameraman needs to be fired. So I'm gonna put one board in here just to make sure that this wall, since I can't screw it to this wall yet, I wanna make sure that this board is completely secure. I've got a little bit of a warp down here at the end. What I might do is end up Whatever I cut this at, I'll cut another one and kind of drive it in there. Maybe get that warp out a little bit. It's not going to affect me, I don't think. Uh, because I allow myself, you know, a quarter inch so I can shim and stuff. So I think what I'm going to do, I've got to go out and measure my door frame, which is out that way in the garage. Go measure my door frame and then... I'll know exactly what it needs to be down here at the base. I think I'm going to redo that plug. So let's get busy. Uh, okay, I'm going to put you on pause for a minute. I'm going to run out and measure the door frame. All right, so I've got to turn the camera back on. It's got a little too busy. So we've got it done. As you can see, it's up here. Yeah, it's not the best. It's double, double double and then of course my originals coming down that is not the way that i would recommend anybody to do it by far um i just see one little piece of wood sticking down there i don't like so i'm going to since ricky's got one of my batteries i'm down a battery and i've got a battery that just went dead so i'm kind of switching batteries uh, let's see. Watch your ears. There we go. That was all it took. And that was not in the way. It just bugged me. So there it is. Um, down here, you'll notice. Beep. I did take that board out and just run that straight in there. It's okay where it's at. But I don't like it where it's at. So I think I'm going to end up moving it over in this direction somewhere. Uh, it's just basically gonna be one plug for a nightlight that when I first walk in the room, there's a light. Yeah, I, you know what, that doesn't make any sense, does it? Because the I have to walk through the door to, and I, the light switch will be right there. Well, right here, which you guys can't see. So anyways, if I take you back here far enough, this room is not very big. If I take you back here far enough, you can see from that rafter over to that rafter, uh, and they're not rafters, not now, and all the way down to the floor. That will all be cut out, all that OSB. That plug will be gone, and all this OSB will be cut out. There'll be no wires running into it. There'll be a door and a frame fit right in there. Um, I don't know if I need to add any side braces to it. I'm just not sure. It, 
doesn't really make any sense to do that. Because if I go, I was shooting for nine and a half, and I got right at nine and a half. I might have got a sixteenth over, which it doesn't matter. Um, but if I look and I, I get my measurement from up here, uh, and I said I said nineteen and a half, I, I meant twenty nine and a half. Um, yeah, there, there's no sense in really even putting a board there. But I might. I don't know. It's just a me thing if I do. I still feel like this is bowed quite a bit. And this could be my hinge side. I'm not really sure which way I'm going to make it hinge. I don't really think it matters. It's more going to be looks to the other room. But I don't think it really matters which way it hinges. And uh, before I forget it, hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving yesterday. I know I did. Let's see. Oh, we didn't really do anything special. Um, I cooked all Wednesday night and then cooked all Thursday morning. And then we didn't have our supper until 5 6 o'clock. Uh, made it perfect. Um, had a lot of fun. And, and then we played games afterwards, which was a lot of fun. Um, I know that's something Colton's been missing here lately. He loves to play board games and stuff. So we did all of that. And anyways, I just hope you guys had a great, awesome Thanksgiving. I was going to take the rest of the week off, uh, today being Friday, <clears throat> which is really going to mess you guys up because you're not going to see this for probably another week, maybe even two weeks. Um, depends on when I get to upload. Um, yeah, I, I was going to take Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. Uh, next week is our pew pew season for deer. Um, we plan on doing a lot of that, and I think we got somebody new. Uh, Clint, who bought the house next door to me, where my ex used to live. He used to be my stepson. Uh, now he's just a really good friend. I still consider him my son. I raised him since he was two or three years old, so in my book, he's still my son. Um, anyways, I think he's going to join us this year, which is going to be amazing. Um Anyways, I, I just got a busy week next week, and I thought, well, I'll take But I got bored today. Ricky's out changing a deer stand. Colton's at his mom's or at a friend's. I think he went to his mom's and then a friend's. And I'm here by myself, and I'm like, yeah, I want something to do, so why not go out here and work on this? So, I don't know. I think I will. Don't go anywhere yet, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up bracing this. Um, I'm going to get some measurements exact, and I'm pretty sure this board looks, it, it appears like it's perfectly straight. This one over here does not. So I think I'm going to tie this in one or two places. We'll see, but don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Like I said, it might be an hour for me, it will only be a split second for you guys. All right, so... As you can see, <laughs> I ended up putting three braces in it. It was way crookeder than what I thought. But now, it's not crooked. It was actually, from about here down, it was bowed in a good quarter of an inch. Um, which, yeah, it's, it's perfectly level now. And that's perfectly level now. And when I run my Yeah, there we go. When I run my level from here to here, there's no bow inside of it anymore, which there was before. Um, not necessarily going to say make a blame on Lowe's or anything of that nature. Their lumber is not quality anymore, but it has been on the back of the truck. It did rain one day. I don't think they got that wet. But, you know, so it is what it is. It's fixed now. So now basically really all I got to do, I don't want to insulate yet. I got to insulate there and here. I don't want to do that until I run my electrical because I do know there's going to be two lights, one above you, which is there's a temporary up there now, one over there, and then there's going to be, let's get you around here where you can see, there's going to be one, this door is temporary. It, go, it goes away. It will no longer be there. Um, 
there's going to be a light here and a light over there. I want to light this place up. It, it, in case, I don't know why. I just want a lot of lights. So we're getting that done. And then there's going to be a couple plugs on the wall behind you where I built that little recess. Um, that's it. That's there. There's no more electrical needs to be in here. So lights are the biggest thing. Couple plugs just in case I need them. I don't think I'll need them. Well, yeah, I'm, I mean, one plug in this whole room would do me just fine. So I've got that here, which like I said, I think I'm going to move that from, well, you can't even see it because the level's in the way. I think I'm gonna move that from there over to there somewhere. I'm not really sure. Might bring it up off the floor a little bit. I'm not really sure. Um, everything's just kind of up in the air right now. I can say, even with this temporary door, and there's gaps all around that door, you can see I've got insulation poked here and there and everywhere, and the room's not insulated other than this one wall partially insulated. Um, I've got a little heater in here, one of them um, old square wooden ones that everybody likes. Um, Eden Pure? Yeah, I think that's what they're called. But anyways, I'm not sure that that one's Eden Pure brand. It looks like it might be Dura Log or Dura, Dura Flame. Maybe, I don't know, I'm not gonna get down there and look. But anyways, I got it set on 60, I think. Um, yeah, it is called Dura Flame. It's actually on the remote. Let's see what I've got it set at. I've got it set at 70, which keeps it about 60 degrees in here. Um, good enough for me to work. I'm gonna be working in here about another week. I don't know when I'm gonna get back. I will probably, if I get bored tomorrow, come in here and run electrical. I might even do it tonight. At nights, it does get pretty cold in here. This heater won't keep up with that door because that's where our, our all of our west uh, west winds and everything come from. The lake's just right there. Um, yeah, you could probably see the lake from here. Uh, be a great place for a window. Hey, yeah, I just hit you guys on the switch. If you guys look, um, well, I'm not going to move the heater and everything. If you guys look right there, that's the lake. So you can see the lake. Um, be a great place for a window, even though there's not going to be a window there. Um, I'm not going to be sitting in this room looking out a window anyways. I do have two big ones in my bedroom. That, and like I said, you guys go back and watch. I don't know if I've done both the shorts yet, but I know I've done at least one short by the time you watch this video. And you'll kind of see the setup of my bedroom and why I'm leaving this wall in for right now. Now, what something I do have to do. Oh, and by the way, I know I've already wished you guys this, but I, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. I know I sure did. But I'm going to go up here in this corner and drill a hole small. This corner and drill a hole small. Right in the center, drill a hole small. And then a couple down each one of these. And then a couple across the bottom of the floor. But i got to make sure I stay above my flooring in there. It doesn't matter if I stay above the trim. But I want to make sure that I stay above the flooring that is in there the the laminate flooring because I don't want to drill through that so I'll do that and then when because this room once I'm done insulate wiring insulating and walls are up this door is going there'll be no access to this room probably I wouldn't say all winter but probably not until at least after Christmas because I'm going to start on my bedroom and then once my bedroom is done then I'll do this door Anyways, with all that being said, I'm rambling on. Hope you guys have a great day and even better tomorrow and an awesome night. And we'll see you on the next video or the next live stream or even the next short. Hope you guys have a great, great day and please be safe. We'll see you on the next one.